Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Full King Block. Um, as you can see, a lot of things have changed. I've rearranged the base, just made it a little bit more, I don't know, just structurally different. Okay, so we've got sections. Obviously, we've only got, you know, cobblestone to work with at the moment. I wouldn't mind, well, eventually... Eventually, I want to, you know, make a nice looking base with some different levels and etc. But that's going to be, a, you know, a while down. It's kind of like it's cobblestone, cobblestone there, and uh, deposit in it. Uh, where is everything? And I do now. Um, so yeah, so a rearranged base made things look a little bit, you know, different. Okay, so up here, I planned on doing like all the main stuff. Like, we'll put all, like, the, uh, yeah, machines and that. And, uh, yeah, you need a lot of room for it. So, yeah, this platform now I'm going to be using for the Hourglass of Nostalgia to make the Ancient Cobblestone, because that is the next quest. We've got the Cobblestone of Christmas Pass. When provided with a redstone signal, the Hourglass will slowly convert surrounding cobblestones into Ancient Cobblestone. Okay, now... It works in like a three by three way. Let's grab. Um, I'm probably going to need more than one of these, so let's grab another there. Uh, I want one, thank you. So it works in like a three by three way. Okay, so it starts. I think it's three by three. Um, so, for instance, if we put the hourglass down, um, I'm not going to do it here. But if we put the hourglass down. Um, it starts like here. Starts converting this, say, cobblestone to ancient cobblestone and then works its way in. So it starts from the outside and it does it three, like a three cube. Yeah, so three down, three up, three. I think, I think, it, I think it is three. Um, I think it is three. So I'm hoping that I have enough cobblestone. I haven't really grinded out any cobblestone because of how long it took. You know, a lot. This this base took a lot of cobblestone. You know, we got this platform up there, which has got the 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 uh, the you know those those uh, golden rod seed things up there. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna hopefully get this right now. I want to build a, as big as possible. I don't know what the biggest range is. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. So let's just what we do, okay? We're filling. I think I think it's I think it's five. I have to go. One, two, one. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then because it's got to go in the center block, yeah. If I remember rightly. So hang on, let's try and find the centre of this platform. I've just woken up guys, so So there's three. So say we stick it there, there's three. So I need to go one more that way, right? So then it's one, two, three, and then it goes there. Yeah? I think. I think it's the three by three. So, we're going to have to basically fill in this, and we've got to go up as well. So this is why I needed the ones, which for some reason doesn't seem to be working. Though. Why aren't the ones working? Oh yeah, because you got, I forgot, you got the, they're not the diamond ones, are they? Diamond ones you can put, basically, you know, look down. These got to go across like that. So we'll do that. Fill this in. I've got to leave myself a little gap here so I can get up. We'll get things done. Right, there we go. So now it's got the redstone signal. Oh, that's why I need to come out one more here. So it's this way, look. That's where I, that's where I've gone wrong, look. I only went out two this way, look. I've got to come out another layer. All right, I'll get that done in a second because I've got to get some more cobblestone here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that done. And then we're going to have a look at this seed of life. I've got to get some dirt, because I don't think I actually have any dirt. Actually, I haven't checked it. Let's check. Let's see if we've got any dirt here a second. Uh, nothing there. Plenty of storage. Yeah, no dirt. Okay, so yeah, I've got to grind some dirt out. And then 
we'll create the seed of life and continue on and uh, hopefully by the time that comes we'll have some ancient cobblestone as well so yeah right okay so we've got some wheat here to make the grass box i've also done that now so it's it's, it's correct it's now a seven by seven which is three each side including the middle one okay so that's all done now let's get this grass block so we need two grass blocks for this seed of life i also need to finish filling this in because that's kind of where i want to put it but uh let's have a look at the seed of life first so the seed of life we need like i said these two living world crystals um do we have any living world crystals no we don't have we actually explored about living world crystals so living world crystals are basically using the crystals normal crystals but we don't have none oh we have one so we're gonna have to create some more of them and we use it underneath the crushing block so let's get some of these crystals made up here um da -da -da -da. so it is the mysterious mixture which i don't have nice okay stone dust mysterious fertilizer mysterious dust decord that 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 we have one mysterious mixture already and um, what was the other thing pressing all the wrong buttons nice uh, stone dust that cord we need some more mysterious fertilizer I'll have to grind some of this stuff out between episodes I think and some stone dust which is basically stone under the crushing block if I remember rightly uh, yeah so it's oh yeah we can use cobblestone so that's good so what we'll do is we'll lob oh god I'll stack on me so we'll just chuck a stack under there now goes that. Nice. So we can make one more. Like that in. And then we're going to need some more of this mysterious fertilizer. So we'll go with that. And then we'll grab some more. Uh, mysterious dust there. We need some more deck cord. Do we have any deck cord? Because this is our deck cord plan, right? Is it in Starbless deck cord? Um, I need my book. I can't remember. I can't remember which one gives me that cord, guys. Which one gives me that cord? I think it's the Starbless one, isn't it? Which requires the... The shears, right? Uh, Starbless. Where is it? Starbless. Need we need to turn them by each other. Oh, it's not. It's, it doesn't tell me in the book. Well, fantastic. But you do require the the shears to harvest. Don't know that much. Uh, yeah, that's the one that gives you that cord. Right. Okay. So that's cool. So we will have to make this a lot bigger, eventually. So because with the instabler seeds. It needs to be surrounded by other insabla seeds to grow. Yeah. Um, so this here is not very productive, right? So if we had like dirt there, dirt there, like another. So instead of like a 3x3, three three, we had a 5x5 five five patch. Um, we could get a lot more deck cord out of here. But I don't know how much deck cord we're going to need down, down the line. That's the problem. We might need a considerable amount, might not need a considerable amount. Something we're going to have to figure out. But we'll harvest a couple of this. We'll get some more of this paste done. Get some more crystals. We'll crush them down. I don't know what the odds are for these shards. Hopefully by the end of the episode that ancient debris will be done. Or ancient cobblestone, sorry. Ancient debris. Uh, yeah. That's, that's the freaking netherite. Come on. Could have just used bone meal, I suppose. That's why I got them down. We do have another five of these hourglasses, so we can make a lot more of them. I might make just the freaking great big stack with that, I don't know. Or utilize the platform on the top of there. But again, that's something I'll, I'm going to have to do during the stream. During the stream? During the bloody episode. Oh my god, I'm seriously. 
<laughs> I'm not with it, guys. Leave me alone. Right, okay. So two crystal blocks. Uh, we can make these into crystal bursties to get more if we had eight. But we do need one of each crystal. Um, do we... Do we only need the net? I think we only need the netherite. The uh, nether crystal. I think that's the only one we can use for that. But getting the burst seeds. We haven't really played around with the burst seeds. I do want to play around with them eventually. But at the moment... Um, we've got to we got to do a couple more things, yeah. But anyway, so we'll chuck the crystals under there, squish them. That nearly went in the lava, and it gives us a load of these shards. And then we need uh, what are we doing? Sh see the life. So we'll put that there. We need root of life and living world. Root of life and living world, which is there. I Oh, we have the root of life as well. Beautiful. Okay. And we got that one crystal here. We are cooking some more. There's one there. Uh, does it matter which way these go? No. So there we go. We have the seed of life. Now if we put this down here. Uh, we've got to hold it. Like that. That gives us our first tree. So we have our first oak sapling. And it's created there everywhere. But that's fine. That's, that's cool. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let's put this away for a second. We don't need that. So the next thing, let's get... Oh, I've got five more dirt blocks. Nice. Let's just throw that gap in there. The log mallet. Right click of an inner crafting table. The mallet turned into a texture crafting table. Replace the mallet pieces with stone to make it strong enough to break geodes. So, just, oh, that's, that's pretty simple. I didn't really need to save that. Um, so, we need more sticks. Okay guys, so we're going to take this time and introduce our new channel sponsor, Hyper. Hyper is an energy supplement that boosts mental and physical energy for the hardcore or even the casual gamers, whilst maintaining a healthy lifestyle. You might be thinking to yourself, uh, well, it's just like any other energy supplement out there. And yes, you could be right. But Hyper not only is more healthier due to the scientifically selected ingredients it has in it, it also lasts longer than those other bland and cheap brands on the market today. Hyper also comes in many flavours as well, so if you're fussy like me when it comes to flavour, then no problem. There is plenty of taste bud tingling flavours to choose from. My favourite being, at the moment, uh, Blue Raspberry. I'm yet to try the Tropical. I'm waiting for them to get that in stock. And as an extra egg, and, sorry, an extra benefit it won't break the bank especially if you use my discount code black op all in capitals it is as you can see it's linked all over the video here make sure you know so you can't get it wrong um, and you'll get an extra 10% off the already low price uh, for the tubs they also ship worldwide guys plus okay for you guys who use my code okay you got an extended 28 day period in within that time you can use the code as many times as you want to make as many orders as you want all right and no other brand on the market today offers that kind of benefit so make sure you snap that benefit up while you can guys all right go and get yourself a decent energy supplement so guys what are you waiting for go and use the code black op all in caps remember and get yourself a tub of some tasty uh delicious gaming fuel Link is in the description, guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for supporting me. So, back to the video. Okay, so I've got some sticks. Let's make ourselves an axe here. And let's harvest the tree. Um, mine, my, is my... Oh, it is working. Okay, I was about to say, is my... Don't fall in there. Thank you. Did it give me a sapling? It gave me one sapling. So, we've got to be very, very careful. We're going to need multiple saplings, really. Um... They, they, they have. Do, 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 they do crooks. They do, do crooks. Nice. Let's use a wooden crook. So a wooden crook, basically, we harvest leaves. It gives us multiple, or it's a better way of getting oak saplings. Also, um, in some of the mod packs, you can get a decent way of getting string. Um, where's my, my axe? There, thank you. Let's harvest the tree. Let's plant another one. And then, fine, right. So we need the Timmy mallet, so we'll grab that. And then we need another crafting table, actually, don't we? So let's craft. Oh yeah, we can't do it that way, can we? Uh, we need a crafting table, we 
which we have. So let's grab that. Oh no 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 I should no I should get it right get it right get it right right click that we now have the bench mark two or workbench mark two or the whatever the bloody name was called what was it called again the tetra crafting table that'd be the one so from the tetra crafting table we can upgrade the timmy mallet put it in there we do have to repair because we used it nice no we're not repairing it again I don't need to repair again. We want the hammerhead. Uh, material. Oh, we need. No, we need. Hang on. We need to get some normal stone going on here. Oh, we'll get rid right of coal. There. There. That in. I think I do have some normal stone. Let's wipe crystal back in there. Hollow sphere, a touch sphere project stone going to glint into nothingness. Okay. I'm just going to play around in the future with. So we'll come, let's click that one. Why is it saying I've got to repair it each bloody time? It's a bit, a bit stupid. I didn't even use it yet. So that's adding one stone. So when upgrading this, we'll, we'll explore this a lot more in the future. But this is a great way of upgrading, so you know your basic tools and all that. Okay, so it's not just your hammering burner; you put your pickaxe and your hoe and your axe and all that in there, and you can exchange the heads. So you can make a pack saw. You can upgrade straight from like wood to iron, you know, etc., etc., and things like that. You can also change the handle so make it stronger, and that bindings and up here it tells you your item level or your tier of your your uh, weapon or tool whatever okay your speed your durability and the damage it causes which is ideal for like swords and stuff durability as you can see because we've added a stone hammerhead upgraded it to a stone hammerhead we now get a plus 200 durability so we'll do that and then we'll click on the other side and do the same there okay I only want one in there, thank you very much. And this adds an extra 200. And it also, as you can see, has increased this hammer to a tier 2 hammer, which is what we need. So let's craft that. Now we have a tier 2 hammer. And with this tier 2 hammer, we can break geodes. Once we get geodes, we are going, I think, by the looks of things, all right, we get geodes from the cobblestone, the ancient cobblestone. Which, do we have any we can, like, nick for the time being? So, have a so none at the front. So it is starting from the back, which sucks because I built that over the freaking lava. Which means I'm going to have to ruin my nice little symmetrical circle here. Just to get to here. But that's fine. Sometimes you've got to sacrifice, eh, guys? Alright, let's do that. And we got a little bit here, so let's just I'll store that. And then fill what we can in. Back. So I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna make multiple of these structures and put the hourglasses inside so we can get a nice big bulk load of this ancient cobblestone. But at the moment, I'm gonna, oh Jesus, I'm gonna have to show you, you know, I want to show you what, yeah, about. Well, hopefully, I want to get to iron. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Trying to say that. So, see next quest for more information. So, right click a vanilla crafting table with a mallet, turn it to tetra crafting, replace the mallet piece with stone. Okay, so yeah, all right. that doesn't, doesn't tell me anything, does it? So, geodes, we gotta throw the ancient cobblestone onto lava. So, we come down here, I've got a little lava piece here. So, let's chuck that on there. And there's the geodes, we've got 18 of them. And we also got a burst seed from that, nice. Whack that in there, and then we use our tier 2 mallet, and we can just spam that and break that open. Like so. Oh, we ran out of room. Just empty myself here. That in there, and that in there. Pick that up. Alright, okay, so what do we get? We got lapis, copper nuggets, two different emeralds. Pristine emerald, I don't know what that's for. More and more pristine diamond. Okay. Flynn, aluminium nugget, silver nugget, iron, redstone, and gold nugget. Do we we don't have we don't have enough iron nuggets to make an iron piece. Tiddies. So we do have storage drawers, which we might I want to get into. 
better it be this episode. It might be next episode. I'll have a look. But I might do a nice little storage system up here. Where we can... Or even down there. Do another layer there. Another level. Put the storage system up there. Because eventually we can, you know, automate everything. And have it, like, auto-feeding into the storage system. Um, but yeah, okay, so... I don't know, I might do that. I might do that now, because we can't do much going forward with the iron. We've got to wait for this cobblestone to do. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's sort of little storage system out now, yeah? Let's do that. Let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, we need to look at these burst seeds as well. But with these burst seeds, okay, we've got to be very careful with the burst seeds. Um, let's just move that there. Yeah, we're going to be very careful with the burst seeds. So, the burst seeds, basically, they fill up with that particular resource. And when they get enough, they they explode. Yeah? And when they explode, they explode. Let's see. Um, I don't know if we can speed these up. It doesn't tell you the growth rate, so I don't really know. Let's our, uh, try our bread out. And wait for this to go bang, bang. Come on. I was waiting for that. I'm going to have a sip of the my, our new sponsor on my Hyper. Blueberry Raspberry. Blueberry Raspberry? No, Blue Raspberry. Oh my god. I'm not with it. I'm so not with it today. Okay, but this is taking a lot longer than what, you know, I thought. Am I going to right click it? No, that's just that mine it. So we're supposed to do this. It's not speeding up. Um, burst seeds, burst seeds, burst seeds. It doesn't tell me anything about burst seeds. Does it say in here? Because we had to do a burst seed, didn't we? Did we have to do a burst seed? Sorry, we had to do a burst seed before. Did we have to do a burst seed? No? We didn't have to do a burst seed? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Oh! Okay. We missed the explosion, but as you can see, it flies everywhere. Okay? Yeah. It literally flies everywhere. We missed the explosion, though. Damn. Oh, well. But, yeah. So, we got to... I wanted to make, sort of, like, a, a room. To just do... Sort of, encapsulate burst seeds. So, we can... Capture everything from them. Because if we're using... If we're doing it for some, like... Harder to get resources. Because it does multiply it. Yeah, it uses eight of the resource, and as you saw, we had like thirty odd in our hand, and we and a lot went in the lava as well. So yeah, it's a good way of multiplying. Then I want to have a look for the crystal seeds and things like that. We don't want to lose. So yeah, I want to encapsulate in our room. But anyway, let's uh, yeah, let's go and do this platform. Let's start thinking about a storage system. Let's start actually spending some time on some other mods to improve. Yeah, we'll improve our, uh, our our questing, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, so let's just work some light. Because so I don't know about mobs. I don't think they can spawn here. I'm not sure about up there, because there's a certain distance away from the player mobs spawn. So I'm not sure about up there. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's get into this simple storage. So for this simple, oh, I keep calling it simple storage. Fuck sake. Storage draws mods. Get it right already. We are going to need our. We're going to need. Do we? Are we going to? Because in order for this, we need a saw, don't we? Which is that the heat sawmill. Okay, so we're going to need to make this. So let's make the heat sawmill. We're going to need pink composite. Because we can't get into the ferromac ingots yet. Because for this, we are going to need the explosion furnace, and we need iron ingots, and we need a lot. That's is probably the better craft to do. And we need 16 iron ingots for that, so yeah. We need to be able to get into that just yet. But we need pink composite. Pink composite is sand, pink dye, and mysterious dust. Sand. Um, mysterious dust, did I say mysterious dust? Yeah, so I need to get some more mysterious dust. And pink dye. Just post all that. I don't know if those little ones actually give us anything, but we got nine now. I do want. Oh. This one's still there. Give me that one. I 
do want to enlarge this out so we've got a massive amount of mysterious dust. Right, so there's eight of them, and then it goes into ward on here. So, please don't wreck my infinity pool. Nope, nice, thank you. So it's like dust. Beautiful. And then from there, we want to burn it in the lava. Nice, okay. Don't know why I keep pressing space bar for. I want to keep pressing space bar. So, we need now these cutters, which is two flint. How much flint do we have? If bloody any, which is the one we have any. But do we actually have any at all? No, we don't. Well, we have one. We have one flint, which is from the thing. Okay, so is that the only way of getting flint? We can do gravel under the crushing block to get gravel, rotary grinder, cobblestone, and rotary grinder. We do have the rotary grinder. We don't have it set up, do we? Okay. Um, bucket, but we have a bucket. We do have a bucket. So what I'm going to do here is start setting up the machine. So I want. Let's do that. Where's more water there? Let's pick up a bit of lava. Let's pick up that machine, put it against that wall. This one on top. And then I'm going to do the same here. Because I want to do the same for this one for the sawmill, right? So let's grab a block of lava. And that, thank you. Bucket of lava, not block of lava. That one there. Right, okay, so now the rotary grinder is ready. I've got all my corpses on me. Mark that in there, that'll make gravel, and then we use the gravel under the crushing block, and that should get us some beautiful looking flint. No. Yes. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> Am I right there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was right. Okay, I don't know what the odds are though. No, yes, no, yes. Got that. Just need that. So we're gonna we're gonna need we're gonna need so it's one for two. So we're gonna need six flint altogether. So if if the odd if you get one flint per gravel block, we only need five gravel block. Maybe this machine is so slow. Oh, they gave us nine. Oh, okay. So it's got odds of giving us some more. Okay. Um, we need three. Uh, did it really just? I thought it did. No. Okay. So there's the heat sawmill. Let's whack that one up there. And now with the sawmill, we can whack in our oak wood here, and that's going to give us planks. And what we're going to need then for the storage drawers, we're going to want to eventually get um, a drawer controller and a controller slave. But these are going to be pretty pricey. We need like nether quartz, we need diamonds, um, we need gold, and uh, I'm going to a bit of redstone for that, but that's fine at the moment. We just have to manually put them in. So we're going to go with probably the 2x2 two two drawer. Um, we can get into framing, so eventually we can get the framing once we decide, like, what the base is going to look like, whether we're going to go for, like, this sort of look, um, and have, like, two towers, so one tower there, one tower there, a platform there, and platform there, maybe. It could be a thing we do, it might not be a thing I do, I don't know, but whatever it is, Whatever block we go for, I do like a good dark with the light color. I do like that contrast, so whether like marble and um, like I usually go like old school with marble and dark oak. 
Maybe I'll go for that colour, maybe I'll go for something else. I don't know. I don't know what kind of look I want to go for. It's in a volcano. So I'm thinking, like, villain. Yeah? You know. They sort of live in volcanoes, don't they? I suppose. Um, but yeah, so... Going back to this, we can use frame drawers and the framing table. We can customise the look of all our... Uh, Draws. Actually, I could probably just show you that, can I? Should I just show you that? I think I should do that. Um, we're also going to need some more of these oak logs. Let's uh, grow our oak. Come on, thank you. So I'm actually going to speed this up, process up a tiny bit here. I think. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. I don't think it matters where they grow. I think it grows faster on where did I put my oh there it is. I think it grows faster on that middle block, but obviously it still grows on normal grass, as you can see. So I'm just gonna speed this process up. We're gonna do that. Get some more saplings back so we don't lose them all because it is close to the lava right there. Let's harvest this lot. Nice, beautiful. I told you some of it's going to go in there, didn't I? I'm stuck in the bloody leaves, can I? Hey, where are one of them hit? Don't fall it! Ah, you bitch. I'm going to harvest that one. Okay, so. Got a nice fair amount of bloody. Uh, Look, sir. Oh, actually, they go in there. This is why we need a storage system, guys. Okay, so we can make. Oh no, they've changed the rest of it. I forgot about that. Crap. Okay. So we do. We can only use. Uh, we can only use logs. All the planks. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. We do that. And then we will create four. And then we gotta wait for some more. Let's also accept that as well. I don't know what this is. Grip bars. I don't know what that is. So we'll just put it there now. We'll look into that eventually. So let's put there, there, and there. So that gives us the first four basic draws. And then what we can do is head up here to where our storage is going to be. Now, with the storage drawers, the uh, yeah, the storage drawers mod, okay. So the way it works, it's kind of like any other storage system out there, but it's a fantastic to start with um, before you get like two computers, like simple simple storage. I think uh, simple storage. No, um, oh, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? What am I doing? What's the bloody Thingy. I forgot what the uh, mod pack's called now. But basically, when you get to like a simple computer, yeah, your first computer, right? Okay. Which, whether it be integrated dynamics or something like that, yeah. I can't remember the other one. I think it's. I'm, I'm just, uh, my brain keeps saying simple storage, but I don't think it's simple storage. Unless there is a mod. That is what the mod's called. Just don't have it on here. But yeah, so this is a great mod to start with. Okay, so these stack. Um, so, for instance, we're using these, you know, two by two mod, uh, two by two mods, two by two drawers. Now, with these two by two drawers, okay, we can add upgrades to. They can hold four different um, items in them, and it holds. I can't remember the exact amount, but say you can do that, so you can have four different items. So, if you want um, a drawer, you know, for like. All wood stuff, yeah. You can put that in there. You can have it however you want, but you can add mods. So upgrades, sorry, not mods. So we got a storage upgrade one, which increases the storage two times. Then we got four times, eight times. So you can have a, you can have you know millions of items in one draw. I can't remember the exact amount of things. So the one we got holds eight stacks per draw. So it's eight, 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 and eight. Basically, eight stacks of sixty-four. You do the math. I'm not doing it. My brain's not 
fully function uh, at the moment. Then you got the one by two, which is sixteen per draw, and then you have the the, the one, which holds thirty-two. Okay, um, and then if you go for the like, half ones, if you're available for space, if you know doing for space, you can get like a half one, so half draws. Uh, but they only hold they hold obviously half the amount. These do. Um, there will be a time when I will eventually. I can't use the pickup mod. Can't use the pickup mod for these, but everything else. Oh, that sucks. Okay, right, that's fine. We just harvest it. You can harvest them and pick it up, and it will retain the goods, which is another reason why I love this mod pack. All right, but yeah, with this mod pack as well. So if we put it like this, so there's the center piece. That is where the drawer controller is going to go. So once the drawer controller is in, and you don't have to have the slave slave controller extends the range, but once you go drawer controller in, you just get your items, and you you know spam click the drawer controller, and it would automatically sort your items out for you. You don't got to worry about it. This is why this mod is fantastic early game, and you can like I said, you can even. Hook this up so it's all automatic. So if you've got like automatic, automatic cobblestone or your machines and stuff, it can feed it all up to it. So it's a fantastic mod. Um, and we do need some sort of storage, right? Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do between episodes, guys, is I'm going to make another two stacks, if not four stacks, or just build this right out, build this right up, and just do as many stacks as I possibly can to get ancient cobblestone. I'm going to also improve the size of our mysterious grass growth because that's really fun lava bloody hell yeah we're not getting much we kind of want a lot of this by looks things because we're going to need it for like the raw pink composite blend we're going to need the mysterious mixture we're going to need it for a lot of things yes also our tree production i also want to increase that as well so we can get the storage up and doing anyway um but yeah so this episode not we haven't done much We've done a fair bit, okay? We've cleared a couple of the quest lines, but it was mainly showcasing the new base, um, sawing out this this uh, ancient cobblestone, showing you about that, and obviously getting into some sort of storage. And uh, yeah, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe to show your support. I'm sorry I haven't really been with it this episode. Um, usually, you know, I'll wake up and watch go to programs, you know, Things like that, you know how people wake up, just sort of. But I didn't. I, I um, yeah, I'm straight out of bed, straight onto this. So I'm a little bit sore and all with it, right? I'm not in that Minecraft, you know, mind frame at the moment. But uh, yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed it anyway, guys. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button. Check out the rest of my Minecraft series. And uh, yeah, go and subscribe as well. Make sure you do subscribe. All right. Make sure you do subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Till the next episode. Remember to have fun. Keep gaming. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys.